What's up spider owners, Brandon here with Sleemods.com and today we have our adjustable handlebar riser kit for the Canon Spider F3 and 2020 and newer Spider RT models. Now if you've been riding your Can-Am Spider for as long as we have, you know that being comfortable while riding is essential, especially on those long touring rides. So if you're having a hunch over to reach the handlebars, you're more than likely not enjoying your ride time to the extent that you should be. So with comfort in mind, we partnered up with the team over at Show Chrome Accessories to bring you guys an aluminum handlebar riser kit that's compatible with both the Spider F3 lineup as well as the 2020 newer RT and RT Limited. Now this kit's manufactured out of aluminum and then powder coated in a black finish for that clean factory look. Now this riser kit not only includes a pair of riser blocks, but also includes two additional spacers, providing you with up to three different bar adjustment options so that you can fine tune your handlebar position that's most comfortable for you. Now before we get started with the installation, we'd recommend installing the riser blocks first, then sitting in the riding position to see if you're happy with the new bar height. But if you feel you're still reaching for the bars after the riser blocks have been installed, you can go back through and install one or both of the provided spacers to accommodate your needs. Now today I'm going to walk you through the installation process of both the riser blocks and the spacers on our Shop F3 Limited. So let's get started. Start by adding a little dab of removable thread lock to the four new Allen head screws provided in the kit. Then place a towel on top of your tank to prevent it from getting scratched when we lower the bars down later. Now unscrew and remove the four factory 7mm Allen head screws with washers and put them aside since we will not be reusing the factory hardware. Now that Loctite used from the factory is pretty strong stuff, so the factory bolts may be a bit tough to remove. Now make sure when you're removing the screws that you're holding onto the bars, otherwise they'll fall and possibly scratch your panels. Next, you can carefully lower your bars and remove your top plate. Now you'll notice that when you remove your factory handlebars that there's a center alignment pin that goes into a hole at the bottom of your bars to mark the center position. Now the manufacturer has designed this riser kit so that this pin will no longer be used once the risers have been installed, which will allow for additional pitch adjustment of the bars so that you can fine tune your handlebar position to where you like it. Now insert the riser blocks on their appropriate sides making sure that they're sitting flat. If you've installed your risers correctly, they will sit flush like the image on the left. If your risers look like the image on the right, then you have installed the risers incorrectly and will need to make the necessary adjustments. Then you can set the top plate back over top of the bars and insert the four new 8mm Allen head screws, tightening them down just enough so that they're snug. Now once your riser blocks are installed, sit in your riding position to see if you're happy with the new bar height. And if you are, make sure the middle of the handlebars are centered with the top plate. Then go through and tighten down all four Allen screws evenly, back down to the factory recommended torque spec. Also be sure that once all four screws are tightened down, that they've threaded all the way through the base plate on the underside of the bar assembly and that you pre-applied removable thread locker to the end of all four screws prior to reassembly. Now if you feel your bars could still be a little bit closer, you can install the spacers by first loosening the four Allen head screws. And then carefully lift up on the whole handlebar assembly so you can slide in the spacers underneath.
and then tighten down those four Allen head screws back down to the factory recommended torque spec. Again, threading it all the way through the base plate on the underside of the bar assembly. So now that your installation is complete, be sure that your handlebars clock all the way to the left and all the way to the right, and that your bars feel securely in place before heading out for that next ride. And there you have it folks, so if an adjustable handlebar riser kit seems like something you'd like to have on your Can-Am Spider, then be sure to head on over to slingmods.com today or click the link in the description below to grab one for yourself. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I can keep you up to date on everything Spider. I'm Brandon, signing out. Until next time.